Welcome to the Play Resource Inspiration channel. Today we're going to make two mono prints. For this you will need from the Play Resource shop paper, masking tape, scissors, pencil and funky foam. From the scrap store you'll need a sheet of perspex, some plastic pots, bottle tops, toothbrush, cardboard and a waste bottle. And from your local shop, you'll need block printing ink and rollers. Right, the first step is to roll the ink out onto the perspex. And I'm going to get the roller and make sure the roller is covered in ink. And now I'm going to apply the ink onto the perspex in the area that I'm going to make the print. Okay, I think that's about the right amount of ink. It's an even coverage, it's not too thick, and I think we're now ready to start our print. On the next step, I'm going to very gently lay a piece of paper over the top of the ink, and I'm going to draw a design of a fish using a pencil. Now, while I'm drawing, I'm being really very careful that I don't touch any other part of the page. The pressure is only coming from the pencil. We're using special ink, which is called block printing ink, and we're using it because the ink doesn't dry up quickly while it's sitting on the perspex, and then that gives us plenty of time to get on with our work. I think that'll do. Oh, no, that little eyeball in the middle. So I'm going to lift the page off from the ink. And there you have a monoprint. So now we're going to look at another way of making a monoprint. And I'm going to start off by making a frame with the masking tape so that I can have a nice clean edge. I'll bring that so it's slightly over the edge. And before I stick it down, move that out of the way. So that will be the frame for the print. Right, I'm now ready to ink up my square, but again, I'm going to make sure there's a thin, even coverage. That's now ready for the next stage. Okay, now I'm ready to draw the image. And this time I'm going to draw the image into the ink, not onto the paper. I'm going to use lots of different objects to make marks with that you can get from the scrap store in Play Resource. So I'll start off with this yoghurt pot and I'm going to start just by pushing down and giving it a little wiggle. And you can experiment with this. It really is all about experimenting, so anything that you have around the house or at school or wherever you're working, you can try out different ideas and just see what happens. Got a bit of cardboard here which has just got some wee triangles cut out. For this next stage now, I'm going to take the masking tape off and then lay the page over the, the ink. Now, as you see, my hands are very dirty. So I've got these two little pieces of card. I'm going to pick up the page using these. OK, so I'm just going to gently rest the page over the print. And I can just see that I have a little white border around there. And I'm going to press this with my hand and I'm going to rub. If you want, you can also use a dry brayer that hasn't got any ink on it at all. And I'm going to just rub on the back of the print. So I'm going to lift it up, and there we have a monoprint. I'm now going to start making my small fish. I'm going to use some of the funky foam, and I'm going to draw a couple of fish shapes. I'm going to cut them out. So I've got two fish, and I'll need to make little handles for the back of them so it's easy to lift them off the print. I get a small piece of masking tape and I just stick the middle together and stick that onto the fish. So the same as before, we don't need as much ink this time. 
So we have a bit of red and a bit of yellow. Put that down on the page and be very careful once it's on the page don't let it slide about or move. have our finished print. Many of the materials I've used today are available at Play Resource.